we had our own politics going on. We had our own uh, businesses and, you know, families was close and tight knit. And as you can see over history, these things were destroyed. Now in 2021, there's several ways that we can establish those things uh, without drawing too much attention that will allow us to be destroyed, right? So a good example of that um, is out here in Atlanta, we have uh, various municipalities, right? Or incorporated municipalities, which are cities that are incorporated for the purpose of uh, doing commerce, right? Most cities, almost all cities in the United States um, are incorporated because cities do commerce, right? Because they do, they provide other services and other things outside of just collecting taxes in order for them to uh, supplement operations, right? So what I um, and a, as a, what I'm a big proponent of is finding a way is how do we get in control of these things legally, right? So that way, if anything does happen, we have a legal standing for what it is that we're doing. So you typically have to get involved in the politics of the community, right? And when I say politics, what I'm saying is I'm not saying to choose politics that they're handing us. I'm saying we can actually uh, create our own city now. There's uh, every state has their own laws and there are uh, something what's called the home rule. You have Dylan's rule and you have the home rule, right? So Dylan's rule or Dylan's law uh, pertains to uh, states having full control of everything within their borders, right? So if you start a city, a town, you have to follow nothing but state laws. The bad thing about that is that if a city or a town, which is a smaller uh, locale has specific issues, if you're waiting on the state to address them, it could take forever because the state has to deal with every other city, every other municipality and town, et cetera. 